if you followed the official Olympic torch relay, it may surprise you to know that the torch spent 75% of its time inside a bus or car being transported between towns. The torch arrives in Dorking on a bus. The flame is carried in another bus. The runner then takes the torch across town and back into the bus. In response to this, the real relay was organised. 2,000 runners kept to the true spirit of the Olympic Games, running non-stop, day and night. The real relay followed the route of the official torch. Each runner carries the baton for about 12 miles. Stuart Stevens will soon be passing through, running the leg to Gomshaw, where he will hand over to Simon Coppen Gardner. Simon, an amateur actor, is on stage in the Green Room Theatre, hoping the play finishes in time for him to run his stage. The King must make a decision soon. Why, only last week, in this very room, he said he wished to abdicate. What is going on? You must remember, ma'am, that until very recently, His Majesty was the most advised man in the world. Now, in this supreme crisis of his life, apart from Mrs Simpson, he has no one. Earlier this evening, we spoke to Simon. Uh, it's really exciting to be part of the Real Relay, uh, a privilege that I managed to get a, uh, an opportunity to, to run with them. We each get given a leg of, of 10 to 12 miles, mine's 10 miles, I'm going to have to plan it myself, I get given the start and end point, and I also have a, a pace at which I have to run, um, so it's completed that 10 miles within an hour 40. Um, in my case, because of the way the roads are, um, most of it's going to be off-road, it's just my passion, that's what I enjoy. Um, this is in, in, in many ways a sort of commemorative for me because I met my wife 20 years ago at the 92 Barcelona Olympics. Um, and so it's nice that, you know, she's going to be here. She's going to pick me up after the play, assuming we finish on time and, and rush me down to Gomshaw. The crowd is waiting for Stuart to arrive. Even the dog is on edge. We've been joined by the BBC, whom we've kindly allowed to film alongside us. It's <laughs> going very well, we've got six miles, six to go. Great. See you in about an hour. Because the play finished on time, Simon has a few minutes to talk to the BBC. Um, I've been running for uh, a number of years, um, pretty much all my life I would say, on and off. Um, certainly not competitive, although I enjoy the odd competition. Um, and uh, I'm doing this just because it's there, <laughs> you might say. And what sort of training have you done for this? Um, I do, I actually go to a local gym up in London, I work in the city, um, behind a desk doing IT work and what have you. Um, so I, I do, I actually go to a, a boxing gym and do a lot of boxing and things like that, but uh, I also get out with the dog um, and do lots of runs, it's part of the reason I moved to Dorking. Simon's wife is here and it's time to go. Luckily, he's arrived in Gomshaw in time to discuss the route of his stage with others who have come along to keep him company. 
This has happened on most stages around the country, with runners coming from athletics clubs and recruited through Facebook. And over to Black the other side of Blackheath. Okay, by yeah. the end of Blackheath, there's the pub down. With the planning completed, they're keen to get going. <laughs> the baton contains a GPS tracker that transmits their position every 30 minutes. Good luck, guys. The runners have certainly made good time over the first part of the course. They're now leaving the roads and going into Blackheath Forest. No easy task at this time of night. Average 6.5k per minute. Kenny Ling is waiting to take over in Godalming to run the next stage entirely on his own. Uh, I've done a lot of endurance life races before and uh, when they suggested doing our 24-7 relay around the country it seemed like a good idea and something that I should try and be part of. It's past 1am and this couple have driven up from Sussex to give their support. Well we looked in the local Petworth paper this morning and they had a report on the official relay that went through Petworth on Monday mm. and they had a small column inch, didn't they, saying yeah. about the real relay. Yeah. Well, we were just sitting it. here tonight and so at home we tonight looked and we on, looked it up and thought, Looked it up on the internet, on. found out what time you were coming, yeah. watched the satellite tracking thing and yeah. worked out here and then driven around a bit of Godalming till we saw a few lights, which was your filming lights and here we are. Yeah. Oh, it seems such a much better idea that it's actually doing the proper yeah. thing. It's running yeah. round. Yeah, real athletes it running is, the whole it route. It is the real relay, isn't it? And the low light was the, the the pathway of cow poo, I think, coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Any tips on that pass on? Ah, oh, the same Stuart said to me. I mean, you just got to keep going. Try and make up some more time. I don't yeah, know how we've I'll done, try, but yeah, oh, it's brutal. <laughs> Big it's only ten miles. Do the handshake there. Yeah. Chap, oh, well done. Hang on a second. On. Let me just get a bit of a focus. Everyone, you got a team with you? No, no, it's not it's on your own. Oh. It's awful. Well then, I'll be off. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. When he's finished his stage, Kenny will be running another 12 miles to get home. So some of those lanes were, were really nasty down there. Um, and it doesn't make it easier, you're just sort of trudging through it. And, uh, yeah. But, you know, it's teamwork, we all pull each other along and uh, we're glad to be here, glad to, glad to be going home. <laughs> Do with some water. <laughs> Over 200 people ran the final five mile stage across London to the gates of the Olympic Park. Endurance Life lobbied LOCOG, the Olympic organisers, to allow the real relay to finish with a lap of the athletics track inside the stadium. But the application was unsuccessful and the runners had a final gathering outside.
The real relay baton was carried non-stop for 55 days by 2,000 runners. They ran over 7,000 miles, ascending the peaks of Ben Nevis and Snowdon. They ran day and night, in all weathers and conditions.